There it is. Hey, <laughs> this Facebook Live. Okay, there's a delayed reaction there. All right, we're live today on this Thursday. What is today? The sixth? Is today the sixth? Fifth. Whatever it is. It's the fifth, right? The fifth. Not to be confused with a fifth. Okay, totally different thing. <laughs> Okay, today is the 5th of August. We are very fortunate from the lovely state of Arizona, from the Scottsdale office, Kierland office to be exact, we have Kim Nathanson. All right. Well, you know, Kim, I was thinking, you know, because the last few years you've been producing extremely well. I was thinking about like about three years ago, maybe three and a half years ago, that conversation we had. Do you remember that conversation? You just started my coaching. Isn't life a little different now than it was back then? Just a, just a little. Yeah, right? <laughs> you were, you know, you, you, you got to that, conf you got to that, that's why this is such a great, it's a great time to have you on here. You were in that frustrated part where, you know, you were almost like, you know, is this, is this really what I want to do? And, and all of a sudden you got into the right actions and boom, your real estate career has really take, taken off, hasn't it? It has. It has. And I'm still, I love it. Absolutely love it. Tell us a little about, just because, you know, I coach a lot of people in the company and I know there's a lot of people that are at the frustration phase, but give me an idea of the frustration phase and then now this phase and how that journey is definitely worth it. I think that'd be huge for them to hear. Well, you know, everybody gets into real estate and um, it they think it's easy. They think, you know, the business is just going to fall on your lap. You're just going to start selling houses, you know, right off the bat. Um, and you think you know everything and you don't. Um, and it takes time to build up your sphere of influence. It takes time to build up your pipeline. And, um, you know, I, I first started out as a transaction coordinator. I, when I first started, I, I worked for somebody figuring, you know, I'd learn the contract and how to, you know, do the systems in our office and everything. And um, unfortunately, the person that I worked under fortunately or unfortunately, however way you look at it, the person that I worked under um, wasn't really doing good or the things well. And so I learned what not to do very quickly. Um, and then, you know, I got into coaching and, you know, I had a great year and then, you know, personal things happened in my life. Um, and then I, you know, fell back down. And, you know, so the most important thing that I learned over um, the eight years that I've been doing this is that um, you have to be consistent and you have to just stick with it. And, you know, when you do the things that you're taught to do, um, it works. The system works. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, congratulations. You're a great part of example when it comes to that. It's so exciting to see it happen too. And and then uh, weren't you just invited? Mean, okay, so you, you got Facebook Live. I think it's the second or third time you've done it with me, my podcast. I know you've done other podcasts and you were just invited to, um, oh, don't tell me, Omaha, right? Weren't you just invited to go out and speak at that, uh, be a panelist in, in that uh, event out in Omaha? Congratulations. Right. The, thank you. The event is called the Explosion Events with the Omaha branch out there. And um, it's um, not next week, it's the week after. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to meet a lot of great agents, learn from a lot of great agents and some um, CEOs that are out there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. With the very mellow and never wears bright colors, you know, Vince Lacey. <laughs> yes, Vince. And flip flops. <laughs> yeah. He's hilarious. I love the dude. And he's doing he's extremely great. well. Yeah. Yes. Very unique office. Have you been to his office before? I have not been to his office. Oh, you're in for a treat. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Good, 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 good. And he has you as a panelist, and it's so awesome. Yeah, so tell us a little about, okay, so frustrated, sick and tired of being sick and tired, get into the actions that cause you to be successful. Like you mentioned, your sphere, being consistent. But tell us a little bit about what that means and how you got into it. So... The first, well, first of all, I got into coaching and coach, I think coaching is very important, whether it's through you, whether it's through, you know, somebody like Tom or Mike Ferry or Debbie DeGroote, you know, you know, Brian Buffini, coaching to me is very important. Um, not only is, do you learn a lot from your coach, but there's the accountability, you're, you know, a great accountability for partner for me, you know, anytime I have a question, you know, I come to you and, you know, it, it, it just assures me and sets me in the right and sends me in the right direction. Um, so I, when I started coaching is when I started seeing, um, you know, my 
produ production Im improve. Um, and so I started, you know, doing the things that you told me to do, you know, um, lead generation, lead follow up, being consistent, talking to people. Um, and then I have a farm um, in my name that I do in my neighborhood and being consistent with that uh, is very important. I started it out with another agent who lived in the community and then unfortunately she moved out, but we, we still continue to do it together. And, you know, in the beginning, we'd have dribs and drabs of, you know, a house here, a house there. But last year we sold seven houses. We did community events. We gave back to the community. Um, we do uh, quarterly book, you know, flyers that are um, printed very nicely. They, they're luxurious looking, um, you know, so that was a big part of my business last year was from my, my geographical farm. Uh, I also, my, most of my business is, is referral based. I'd say about 90% of my business is referral based. So, you know, keeping in contact with my past clients, um, you know, you know, drip, doing my drip system. I, I probably talk to my past clients more than the average of four times a year. Mm. Um, I, I'm very, you know, connected with my clients. You know, I do the birthdays, I do the home anniversaries. Um, I'll just pick up the phone and call them, especially now it's the beginning of a new school year when their kids are starting to go back to school, you know, asking them how was the first day of, you know, Johnny's um, first grade yesterday or, you know, just picking up, get, you know, and talking to people is a big thing. I'm a golfer, so I, um, I have my golf bag is monogrammed to Berkshire Hathaway and my name and my website on it. And I go out to the golf course and I stick it out there. So it, to me, it's just getting out and meeting people, talking to people, making those connections, because the more people you talk to, the more opportunities you have to meet people and um, get business. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And um, I'm noticing a book on behind your shoulder over there that looks like a very familiar book. Is that <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm glad that, I'm that is your book. <laughs> glad you proudly display that. Thank you very much. That's the first edition too. We've changed the cover now. <laughs> that is the first edition. And it, it is a great book. And you know, sometimes I go back and reread it and read sections out of it. And you know, yeah. Awesome. Well, and I totally agree with you. Like what you talked about coaching. Now, fortunately for us here at Berkshire Hathaway, well, for, I hope fortunately for most of the agents that they get me for free. Mr. Mark Stark has paid me to be, you know, the company coach, which is I love it. I love the agents, all the agents in all the different markets. But you're right. Some people, you know, Debbie DeGroat, uh, Tom Ferry, Mike Ferry, Brian Buffini. There's a whole bunch of them out there for coaches. Um, and, and I think it's uh, like, uh, like a lot of people with the company have done what you've done. You know, they start with me. They go to somebody else. They come back to me. Some of them, I have people that have two coaches. You know, uh, I was at the Mike Ferry retreat last week and Tim Dunn, one of the, one of the agents here, which is great. I mean, could you imagine he his name falls right into my saying for this year? Getting it done in 2021. And his last name is done, so it's perfect. <laughs> anyway. Tim's so, a great guy. I know Tim. Uh, yeah. yeah, you that's right. All thank you, thank you, Paul. Paul rescued me with a little studio <laughs> laugh there. Did you hear that? <laughs> anyway, so I was walking through the aisle and I hear Rick, Rick at the Mike Ferry event. And it's Tim. Hey, do you think I should join Mike's coaching? I go, Yeah. You can, you can still be involved in my group. He's in a group of four, which is a really awesome group. And he, you can't be overcoached. It's, not, it's like saying I yeah. overeat right. I overwork out. Nobody does that. So it's the same with, uh, with coaching. So I really appreciate that comment. And it sounds like you just got down to it. Like, you know, I call it getting ugly. You know that, right? With my little acronym, getting ugly. It's in mindset. I am sick of selling myself short. I'm capable of this. Because I believe... The number one thing that makes people feel good about themselves is really fulfilling their potential. Would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I agree. And, and you feel more and more like that every day that you're actually doing that. I, I do. I am, um, you know, I feel I'm a very strong, independent person and I, the success, it breeds more success. You just want it. Once you're successful, you just want to kick it into high gear and be even more successful and get to the next level and the next level, you know, and that's where I'm at. You know, once I hit, um, you know, honor society, then I wanted to reach 
leading edge. And then I wanted to reach the president's, you know, circle. Now I want to reach chairman. So it's like, you just want to keep going because it, it, it tastes good. You know, the success is, it tastes really good. So I like it and I want more. I love it. I love, yeah. People say, well, you know, they're just awards. Those awards are ex unbelievably fun to get, aren't they? It, they are. And, you know, and you look at those things and yeah, it's just, it's, you know, it's a glass statue or it's a plaque and everything like that. But, you know, it's an achievement that you set out for each year. You know, we, we have goals, you know, some people do yearly goals, some people do quarterly or 12 week goals, whichever four week goals, whichever system you want to use. And you, you set out for those goals. And when you reach those goals, it is just such a great feeling uh, mm -hmm. for me. I can speak for myself. I'm sure other people too, but I love it. And it just makes me, you know, want to go to that next level. And I'm at, I'm at that right now. I just want to go to that next level. Well, it, it, it'd be kind of like telling, you know, uh, an Olympic athlete, it's only a medal, right? But the medal represents, just like your award, represents all the work you had to do before to receive it. So when you look at it, I know when I used to look at my awards, I'd be like, you think about all the work that you did to get that award. They, they don't just right. give those away. Right. No, it, and it's a lot of work. And this job is not an easy job. You know, I consider myself a concierge agent, so I don't just, you know, take a buyer out, write up a contract, wait for the closing, here's the keys, goodbye. Or, you know, put a home on the market, put a sign in the front yard, wait for the calls, you know, have a buyer come in, write up the contract, wait for the closing, goodbye. There is so much more to it and a, and a good agent mm. does, goes above and beyond, you know. Um, <laughs> You forgot and have somebody else drive you around in the back of the limo, right? Like, you know, right. one of those non reality shows. <laughs> right. Right. I was just telling you before we started that it's hot here in Arizona. It was right. 110 degrees yesterday. I, um, I staged a home for another agent um, in our office and the house went under contract right away. So I went and got that those staging items because I have a, a new listing. And so I went picked up those staging items, loaded up my car, went to another house, unloaded the car, staged the house in 110 degree weather. And I was just dripping in sweat, but you know what? It's a good kind of sweat. <laughs> exactly. Can't you get that, uh, that, uh, six, nine, uh, gigantic son of yours to help you out? <laughs> Is he around? That, that kid that's uh, sleeping in the other room. No. <laughs> oh, oh, so, so, so it continues well into their twenties. My 17 year old. Yeah. Same way. Well, yeah. he just took the bar exam, the California bar exam. So he's waiting for his results and waiting for his job interviews. So, you know. <laughs> well, that's so congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, that's so. No, and I agree. You know, so that's a, that's a good kind of sweat. It's a work you feel like, you've, you know, you've really got stuff done. Speaking of, you know, uh, rumor has it that you've done a lot of new construction lately, too. Is that correct? I have. You could even I be a specialist in new construction. I actually am a certified new home specialist. Yes. I have, that I have that designation. I have actually sold 16 new builds. Mm. So in the I've last presented year? In the, in the last, well, in the last two years, I believe it was 15. And then I sold a new build, a new town home. I believe it was in 18, 17, okay. 18. That was my first one. And so, um, you know, I, I represent the buyers that go and they purchase, you know, new homes that are new builds. They're, it's all with, you know, um, communities, either Toll Brothers, Shea, um, Taylor Morrison, Pulte, all of those um, builders. Um, and so I have an investor that has purchased six of them and then we turn around and rent them. And those are DR Horton homes, which are another, which is another great one. And they're the ones here that allow people to come into the community investors buy homes and then rent them. So most communities don't allow that. Um, so, you know, from the beginning, when we go in to purchase a home throughout the entire process, uh, you know, pre dry, you know, pre wall, um, pre drywall walkthroughs, uh, I go to the design centers with them if they need, you know, help with that, you know, some people have built homes before and they don't necessarily need me to sit there with them for, you know, five and a half, six hours while they, per you know, pick out everything for their home. Um, but especially, um, I, I do a lot of relocation too. So people that are moving here to Arizona from other states and they're building homes, they can't come out here at, at every process, you know, of the home. So I'll go check on the homes, 
you know, at, you know, certain times of the build of the new build. And, you know, they have me and trust me to do all of those steps for them, which is very important. Yeah. And you're representing them and you're doing a great job. So that's a great, what a great gig too. think about it. You know, um, even somebody, cause I know a couple of them, you've had them to contract for what a year. I do. I have two. Well, one that's been under contract we signed last September. It's it's a big one out in um, Rio Verde in the trilogy of Ritty River Community, which is a gorgeous community. And um, it's a Toll Brothers home. It's a very expensive Toll Brothers home. And so um, these people are moving here from New Jersey and it's gorgeous. The home is just going to be, he's putting about $400,000 in the backyard. Um, so I can't wait for this home to be done. Um, yeah, so that one we started under contract September of last year, and it, hopefully it'll be finished by December because, you know, we have, because of COVID and everything that has happened, um, new builds are taking a little bit longer than years in the past. Typically, it was about an eight-month turnaround for um, a new build to be completed. Now we're looking more around 11 months. For a home that size, especially. For a home that size, yes. Yeah. I, I signed, and I my other client's, I, I want to say it was in J the end of January, the beginning of February, and they're closing mid-October. Yeah. So just think about that. They put it under agreement last year, uh, how much it's already appreciated. By the time they walk into it and close, they're going to be very oh, happy. Absolutely. With yeah. Oh, yeah. Their home is going to be worth about $2 million when they're done. Nice. And what do they pay for it? When it what, do they, uh, what do they put under contract at? Uh, the base price was nine eighty. Yeah. Wow, they're going to be like, okay, we can't wait to have a home warm, uh, you know, a home warming party, and we're inviting you. By the way, Kim. <laughs> oh, I'll be over there. I'm going to be in the backyard every weekend. <laughs> You'll be the hero. Be You'll be the hero. Have you met my realtor? Yes, she's right here. Her name is Kim. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so in your journey from you know you've been in the you have been in the business for a while, and then you turned on the gas. What would be the three most important things you tell them if they want to do the same thing with their career? Well, obviously, everybody says the same thing. It's consistency. Um, right. You have to be consistent. Um, you know, I would tell them, get a coach. It's important. You know, when I started, I started with Mike Ferry. He was my coach at first um, and amazing. And that was the first year that I um, did really well. So mm -hmm. I would say, get a coach and um, just, you know, get out there and meet people and enjoy what you're doing. Um, you know, I, I try to take it to a new level every year. I try to do something different. I, you know, there are what 90,000 real estate agents in Arizona alone. Not all of them sell on a consistent basis. Some of them are part-time, some sell just one or two deals. Some do it just for a home they buy. I want to make myself stand out. Um, you know, so do things that make you different from everybody else, you know, whether you're, you know, a concierge agent, whether you're a stager or a merchandiser, whether you, you know, give back to the communities, um, you know, join um, Chamber of Commerces, join, you know, um, networking groups, you know, just get out there, meet people, make people know who you are. And this is it's a ride, it's a journey. And you know, the end result every year, because each year I always think it's a new journey. Um, it's amazing. And, and you know, just enjoy the ride. Yeah, well, the joy is in the journey, no doubt, right? It's, especially once you get it going. When you're, seeing oh, absolutely. Right, when you're seeing results from the work you're doing and it's happening, it makes the journey so much better. It's that first, I call it the introduction period, you know, where you're doing it and you feel like you're getting beat up and then, oh my God, is this going to work for me? If I could tell you, if I could, if I had a dollar for any, every time somebody said to me, is this going to work for me? Am I different? Uh, I'd be long retired, but no, it does work for everybody who's consistent. You said the key words and it isn't boring that that's, it's true. You have to be consistent. It's like your, you know, and I know that you have your uh, Peloton addiction, which is a good one, right? Peloton. I did. And you have your virtual coach. You have that person at the beginning at the class, right? It's like a spinning class driving you. It wouldn't be the same without that person there, right? So the coaching is critically important. And as my line goes here at Berkshire Hathaway, if I'm free, how bad could I possibly be, right? <laughs> I and no, I, but would say, I would say work through the frustrations. 
right. because you're gonna have frustrations. You are gonna be up and down and zigs and zags. And you know, um, I loved roller the roller coaster when I was a kid. I don't like it so much as an as, as an adult, but I'll get on it. You know, if my kids go, we go to a, a an amusement park and my kids are like, "Mom, get on the roller coaster." I'm like, "Oh my gosh, okay, it makes me kind of ill." You know, I really don't like it as much as I did when I was younger, but I'll still get on it and I'll take it for a ride. But so work through the frustrations, work through the ride and, you know, and don't give up. That's my Mm -hmm. biggest thing. Yeah. Reminds me when when I first moved to Vegas, my two oldest came to visit me and they were a lot younger then. And, you know, this roller coaster at the top of the MGM, you know, that crazy one. One of my sons couldn't wait to go. The other one's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So this is the question I asked the guy who was selling the tickets there. I go, has anybody ever died on this roller coaster? <laughs> he started laughing. No. I go, we're doing it. And we went on and it wasn't my favorite either, but I did it just so I could say I did it. Right. <laughs> and then after right. you do it, you feel great. You're like, all right. It's the same thing every day when you prospect and you do your job. There's ups, there's downs, there's in-betweens. But if you're consistent, like you just said, um, you're really happy. And you really feel it's a whole different level of feeling great about yourself when you've worked your butt off to get there. Great thing about real estate is it just requires your time, it right? Does. You don't have it to spend. Does, you know, time. It's true, and I have other. I have had other careers in my life. I started out as a special education teacher, um, which is it's extremely hard. You know, you wake up every morning, you don't know what your day is going to entail because it's you know kids right. can be out of control and stuff like that. I never. I wake up every day, and there is not a day where I go, oh. I have to go sell a house today. Never. I never have that. Oh, I don't want to do this today. You know, I, I absolutely love what I do. I Mm. believe this, this was what I was meant to do. I I couldn't do it when I had, when my kids were growing up, God bless the women that do it when they have young kids at home. My kids were, you know, one went to boarding school. So I traveled a lot to go back and forth to see him play sports. My, my younger son was in football and track, and so we were constantly, you know, doing stuff with with that, traveling and things like that. So I waited till my youngest graduated high school, and then I went and got my license, and I've been on the ride ever since, and I absolutely love it. I, can, I just can't, I mean, this smile is like real. This is not a fake smile. I love what I do. I love the people that I meet. I love people, you know, getting people in homes, getting them to other locations if they're moving out of state and working with other agents. You know, I just love it. Yeah, absolutely. It comes across your enthusiasm. Your energy is contagious. That's why you do well. And I would say your consistency for your job, your consistency for your health, all of that comes together. Okay. And really shows up in your enthusiasm and your, you know, just energy for doing this business. So awesome. Kim, thank you very much for taking your time out today. This was awesome. I really appreciate it. Anything, any final words you want to leave these wonderful people? No, thanks. Thanks for having me, Rick. And, you know, any agents out there, if you have any clients that are looking to relocate to Arizona, give me a call. Lovely Scottsdale in particular. <laughs> Scottsdale, yes. Yeah, Scottsdale, Cave Creek, Carefree, North Phoenix. Those are the, I focus on the whole metropolitan, Phoenix metropolitan area, but those are the areas that I serve. Which is the new hot spot is, you know, it, between um, that and, and, and uh, Dallas. But I would say Texas as a state is number one. But most people moving to Arizona are going in right where you are. So, all right, folks. Kim, thank you very much. Everybody else will do this again next Tuesday. See you soon. Thanks, Kim. Take care. Bye. Bye.